Yep, after her husband's death, Jeanne de Clichon went on a war path, literally. Jeanne de Clichon was born to nobility in 1300, was married off for the first time in 1312. Yeah, you do the math there. Her first husband died in 1326 after they had two children. He then married again in 1328, but there was a big political to do and it ended up being annulled. Marriage the third came in 1330 to Olivier de Clisson the fourth, and yeah, that's pretty much the only picture I could find of him. Weren't a whole lot of Kodak moments back then, I suppose. Well, there was a war going on, the War of Breton Succession to be exact, from 1341 to 1365, which was also part of the Hundred Years War, so it was like European warfare inception, but that's kind of normal in European history. I mean, come on now, after Rome fell, they spent the better part of the next 1500 years trying to constantly conquer each other. If there was a crab bucket of the world, it was Europe. So what were they fighting about this time? Well, that would be who would run the Duchy of Brittany, located here in, I don't know about you folks, but every time I hear Duchy, all I can think of is, Pass the duchy upon the left hand side. Yeah, maybe it's just me. On one side was Charles de Blois, who was the French choice, and the English choice was John de Montfort. Olivier and Jean took the French side, by the way. Olivier was one of the men in charge of defending the highly sought-after city of Vannes, and after it was finally taken by the English on their fourth attempt, he was among those captured. However, he was freed after a prisoner swap and the payment of a small ransom. Okay, so here's the problem. Philip VI, king of France at the time, thought it was way too easy to get Oliver back and came to the conclusion that he must have switched sides and given up Vaughn in exchange for his freedom. This is very unlikely and there has never been any proof to substantiate any of it. But if the king gets an idea in his head, he's gonna go with it. Something else that was kinda normal in European history. So, the king called for a group of nobles, including Olivier, to come to a tournament on French soil, and considering that a partial peace in the conflict had been reached, they went. And when Olivier showed up, he was arrested, sent to Paris, quickly tried, and executed. His body was hung for display in Paris, and his head was put on a spear in Nantes another city in Brittany. There was an uproar among the nobility because no evidence of his guilt had been shown and everyone kind of knew it was all a setup. Plus, his body being put on display like that was normally for much worse crimes or for much lower criminals. His widow had a bit of a different reaction. Maybe I should mention that in addition to her two children from her first marriage, Jean and Olivier had five more kids. And after her husband's execution in 1343, France confiscated much of their family holdings, but what was left she sold, then used the money as well as income from English lands that King Edward III granted to her to raise an army of loyal French-hating men in three ships known as the Black Fleet because she had them painted black and the sails dyed red. Oh, and in the name of her flagship, My Revenge. And so, with Edward's blessing and backing, technically making her a privateer, but screw it, we're gonna go with pirate here, she went about earning her nickname as the Lioness of Brittany. As her fleet roamed the English Channel, attacking French ships, killing almost everyone on board, but always leaving at least one living witness to take a message back to the king. They also attacked several French castles, slaughtering their garrisons, and according to some reports, actually attacked villages along the coast, burning them to the ground. And as far as any nobility that was taken prisoner, Supposedly, Jean killed them herself with an axe, and she had two of her sons with her. The eldest would have been seven when the whole pirate revenge war began. The raids and attacks continued for 13 years, ending in 1356 after the Black Fleet was sank, and she ended up adrift for five days with her sons, the youngest dying of exposure. Later that year, she got married for the fourth and final time, staying with him until both of their deaths in 1359. And one last thing, that older son that she had taken a pirate in with her was Olivier de Clisson V, who would fight in and be an important part in ending the War of Breton Secession, earning the title of Constable of France, but most known by his nickname, The Butcher. 